Light bulbs usually have a complex electronic circuit inside as an LED driver, but I found this circuit that has only three components, resistor, bridge rectifier, and IC. This IC could be RM9003 or ICL1103. The output current depends on the value of this resistor. You have to calculate the proper value by using this formula. The number of LEDs here doesn't matter as long as a proper current passing through them because LEDs are current drive components. But according to the datasheet, the voltage of the LEDs must be close to the voltage of the rectifier to keep the power dissipation across the IC less than 1.5 watts. So for example, if the input voltage is 220 volt RMS, the output of the rectifier will be 311 volt DC. This is 311 divided between the IC and the LED. Let's say 3 volt here and 308 volt here. That means 4.6 watts power dissipation across the IC. That's more than 1.5 watts, so overheat the IC. In my PCB, I used 98 LEDs connected together in series. So the power dissipation across the IC will be 0.25 watts. I ordered the PCB from PCBWay. I need 15 milliamps of current for my LEDs, so I used 39 ohm resistor. The power consumption is almost 1.2 watts. I measured the current and it was much less than 15 milliamps. I think because there is no capacitor across the rectifier, so there is a lot of ripple voltage. So I add this 4.7 microfarad capacitor, and now the current is much better than before. The power consumption is almost 4 watts. I measured the light intensity by using the camera sensor before and after adding the capacitor. The light intensity increases almost three times after adding capacitor. I don't know why the circuit in the datasheet has no capacitor. You can connect the PCBs together in parallel as much as you want. They usually send you at least five PCB, not only one. The input voltage could be from any side. The triangle shape is so cool. This is the power consumption of three of them. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.